saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs! Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call a Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a Sync Machine. That's not an explanation! Tell me how it works! Well, um... I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. I've heard of it. The blood brain barrier, right? Inside the school, there's an army of little, teeny-tiny soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it, yeah. The blood-brain barrier describes the architecture of the micro-vessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. Nanotech? Yeah! Technology related to really small things. Like, really teeny tiny things. And when they make a machine, they're called nanomachines. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Some of the cutting edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Well, I don't know if it was like beep, beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... Largely accurate. Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative ninth power. A nanometer is therefore 0 0.00000001 meters. The sync machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers, so sync nanomachines are far smaller than that. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. Okay. You have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sync to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and... No, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. 
One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes, then go to the back of your eye socket, then through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sink process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes. Or else... The house will collapse on our heads. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date. Tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Hey, Date. You saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. Hmm. Date, that means you're... Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that! Tessa? Why are you here? I told Date I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes right away! Rice. Ota's omelet rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. That's not true. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! 
What do you mean coming back to life? Uh... Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Tessa... died? Yep. Yeah. My dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure. My treat, Date. She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. He means sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date. Huh. A date? I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? No thanks. I'm fine. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well... Um... Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? I'll do anything. A anything? Mm-hmm. Anything. Date, your heart rate is rapidly increasing. Why exactly is that? All right, let's do this. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, shoot. Shoot! A tie. The most boring result. Well, we agreed on the rules. Let's shake hands. Shaky, shaky. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. Or maybe you could have seen me naked or something. Why did I choose rock? What exactly were you going to make her do? So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That's what I think. Huh. Parallel world, huh? I can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? Or the 100 million balls? If I explain that, would you believe me? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. I know some urban legends like that. The Spatial Temporal Man, and The Lost Friend, and the story of two sisters. Date, look at this picture. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is Booba and the jagged one is Kiki. Isn't that weird? In other words, everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way and Kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. Like worshipping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. 
Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective universal and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated. But underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. That's... The parallel world? Yeah! You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh. I thought it was a four-seater, too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. It wasn't? Nope. It's all yellow. And the design didn't change. Oh... Lines from movies, company logos, historical events, and little things. The Mandela Effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it, I guess. This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? No, what? That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet, here we are. Imagine a box full of ping pong balls, labeled one to a hundred million. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were one hundred million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day, after school, they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. So A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious. But he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? 
There's no Suzuki in this class. Hei says, What are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No, A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird. And there's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Onta is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Well, I guess not, but... So, there's this girl? Let's call her... B. She's practicing piano in her room. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Yeah. What B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. I know a ton of stories like this. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future, and there's a missing persons report out for you. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. Sounds scary. There's more, too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know, but the language is different. That's a prime example of a parallel world. Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. The Spatial Temporal Man. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The Spatial Temporal Man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. So, this elementary school kid? Let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. That's why I decided to research it, too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff fascinating. If you want, we could talk about those. 
Maybe next time. Now where's that omelet rice? Done! Bon appetit! Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Thanks for the food! That was good! Ota, your omelet rice is seriously the best! Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again! Thank you! Come back soon! Mama, it's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Uh, sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? Huh? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway, remember what we talked about? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! Date, it's the boss. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Date, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Date. Do you realize how screwed I am? Go find number 89. If I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest them. Got it?
So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Stay right there. Okay. Find out later. We need a way out of this. Yeah, but... We gotta take care of them. I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single evolver. I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions, just do it! <sighs> Look at that! Like a gift from heaven! Are they stupid? Just as I calculated. What kind of calculations did you do? Date, focus! Now, the burst shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. The porno mag? I said no questions. Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. This is... This is crazy! I've never seen anything like this before! Yeah, they must be stupid. You are too. What? The final step. But you don't have to do a thing.
Hello? Mama? There's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. There's... what? Don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency! I will slap you if you don't shut up! Now, we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high-pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go! Ready? Here I go! According to my calculations. This is... My place. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked her phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you, do you have any idea who they were? There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws, a group under the control of the Wajet system. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... Yeah. Date, please help me! They're going to kill me! Wait, wait. Slow down. In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long, so this satellite she is describing is about half as big. It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. 
but by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nyes. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. Well, you know about the Wajet system, right? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgorg. But no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wadjet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. They were caught by the space dev team at Elgorg. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wadjet system. Is this true, Iba? It is patently ridiculous. Let's say that one day Wadjet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wadjet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wadjet will eventually spread across the universe. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wadjet is alive. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Nyes and Wadjet have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wadjet can control stock prices. Nyes benefits from that. In return, Nyes helps Wadjet's ultimate goal. That's why Nyes is in militaries and corporations all over the world. To help build X00639. All right, I get it. You do? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. Hmm. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nyes doesn't sound like a bad organization. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nyes. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. 
and human trafficking and slavery? NICE has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. Well, I can't say yet. But it's true, believe me! Nice is dangerous! You have to understand, Date! You... you saw my dead body! Do you think that you were killed by Nice in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please, don't leave me. You have to protect me. Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. Aiba, you use the Wadjet system too, right? So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nice? Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink, of course. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocho were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone tipped them off. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. That's right. No, it couldn't be. Boss. Impossible. Iba, can you contact Pewter? I want to ask him something. Understood. Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Pewter, I need to know something. Does a sync machine exist outside of Abyss? One sick machine in the entire world, and it's with us at Abyss. For now, anyway. For now? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Stolen? Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group of men. The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but 
I heard something about a shootout. So the cops have it sealed off. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? The world has become a dangerous place. Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? So, neither you or boss are at Abyss right now? No. Thanks, Pewter. See you later. Sure thing. Bate, where are we going? Inside your dreams. What? I'm gonna sync with you. To determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that alright? Yes, of course! Roger that. Are you ready? Yes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. All right. Let us begin. What is this place? It is... Uh, difficult to move like this. Why do you look like that? I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never! I will never give up! You don't have to take it that far. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge? I don't see any shovels. Or forges. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen! This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge. A sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, you already are. Oh, come on, I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You have no choice. Good evening, good morning, and hello! It's Tessa, also known as Aset, you bet! I'm going to be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in! Iris's Let's Play has begun. Help me, Date! You have to help me! It's nice! They're coming! Find me, Date! Oh, a pickaxe! Lucky! What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the other ones. I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. Are you ready? Let us begin. Somnium scan. Activate.
This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what Iris identified it as. This is a pretty avant-garde pickaxe. Perhaps designed with glow sticks in mind. A silver gate! Let's dig it up! Like this? This is actually kind of fun! Easy there. We've still got a job to do. That pickaxe was dropped by someone being attacked by Nice. Be careful, Date. Nice might be after you, too. Did you get that? I'll be the one being attacked. Either way, all we have to do is listen to Iris and do what she says. But which Iris? There appears to be two. I guess both for now. I think we'll find something if we dig there. Let's check it out! It is a door, or perhaps a gate. Everything looks like a block of tofu to me. This must be where we use the pickaxe. All right, just don't be too hasty. A door or gate? It is closed. Okay, just like I always say, let's hit it! Go, Iba! All right, here I go! Special. This is kind of fun, isn't it, Iba? Are we meant to do this the whole time? Uh, this is tiring. The gate's open. Let's go. Roger. This is a new area. And we cannot return to the previous one. Hmm, where else can I dig? We gotta find something to dig up. Am I meant to dig... everywhere? That's a big stick of imitation crap. It must be a vending machine. Happy digging. Roger. that time good haul today be sure to like and subscribe and to read to it everyone hey Iba yes is this golden Yokocho indeed it appears to be modified but it probably is based on golden Yokocho this is where we were attacked look Dante what is that uh-oh, an elite is coming. But it's okay. I've got the feeling we can do it! Project Bluebeam! Nice is trying to kill me! You have to stop Nice! But what are we supposed to do? Dance! Dance? Use the most beautiful art form humanity has ever created! The power of dance! They may have money and power, but they'll never take our beating hearts! Dance is the only way to fight the Wajet system in Nice. Using this material, we can make a disco ball. Let's build the disco ball, and then it's dancing time. What do you think, Iba? Shovel Forge is not a dancing game, but... That's not what I'm talking about. Nice does not exist. But I don't think Iris is trying to mislead me. What you think does not change the facts. Now... We have to decide our next move. For now, we need to find somewhere to craft the disco ball. It 
It is blocked, but this must be the exit for Golden Yokocho. Understood. I suppose we can't dig here. Seems like it. Iris's live stream is showing on the monitor. Okay, time to create a disco ball on the crafting table. Which one? I believe she is talking about that one. So, it's not a block of congealed oil. Why would someone place blocks of hardened fat as furniture in their house? Well, it's kind of like Hansel and Gretel. They aren't real, Date. I found a crafting table! Hmm... Something the matter? It seems you can create items other than disco balls. But we need to make the disco ball now. That's what the viewers are expecting. Understood. Done. That was anticlimactic. Okay, we gotta dance for real now. Give it your best dance moves, everybody! W what should I do? Dance, Date! Fight against knives with the power of dance! Aye, but dance! You have to dance! Okay, if I must! nice for sure I'm not afraid of them as long as you're here yeah good huh well I don't know how but we defeated that big guy oh a rare drop awesome let's see how far we can get today let's go everyone onward please defeat nice I know you can do it Date all right, let's go, Iba. A hot head is not what we need in this situation. It is blocked, but this must... Can you make a hole with the pickaxe? I do not think so. This material... This appears to be another... 
do it. Leave it to me. I dug it up. Got the material. Let's move on. This is a spacious area. Is that marble? Those flowers are winter irises. They're wilted. Whoa, this place is huge! How are we gonna check everything? Maybe I can make something with the materials I have. Okay? Okay! Another crafting table. At least you don't have to do any more digging. Dante, do you see that shrine? Shrine? That's humanity's last hope against Nice. Save us from the oppression of technology. Return the stone monument to the pedestal at the shrine. We should have all the materials we need to craft the stone monument. Please, Date, you're the only one who can save me. You're the only one who can save this world. Only me? Date. I'm the only one who can save her. Hey, Date. What? Is following Iris's plan really the best idea? I don't know, but I feel like we're getting closer to the truth. Really? Let's go with it a little longer. I suppose we can. I will follow along for now. There's a crafting table. Iris said that all the materials should be here, but... What's that on the floor next to the table? This is... the egg that came out of the vending machine earlier. An egg! We can use this! Okay, build the monument with that! There you have it, Iba. Understood. Done. You could have given it a little more oomph. Specifications for oomph not found. Please take the monument to the shrine! You can make miracles, Date! Got it. Leave it to me, Iris. Are you going to continue doing whatever Iris tells you? Iba, I get where you're coming from, but I want to believe her. I see. If that is what you believe, then I will obey. I exist to support you, Date. Let's bring this to the shrine. Yeah, let's go. This appears to be a pedestal. Understood. It will be done. The wilted irises blossomed. What? There were dead flowers outside. What happened to them? Oh, wow! This is... A miracle. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. The fact that you believed in me is good news. And Dante, you are my hope. I'm your hope? You might be able to use it now, Dante. Use what? There's something around the flowers. Another rare drop? I suppose we dig here. Right. The color of this floor is slight. All right, try digging. Understood. What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. Is it on the wiki? go check. Give me a second. What is this? Oh, I get it. It's a love bomb. Hmm? An item of that description is not in the game. Let's fight for the future with the power of love. If you use this, you might be able to find me. Use it? How? You need to dance, Date. 
Oh, that's right. Again? Haven't I danced enough already? This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. All right. I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose? Yeah, try it. We cannot move forward with the debris and... Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby, dance! Do you want me to dance? Please. What? Oops. Looks like I messed that up, didn't I? Okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. Uh, where is this place? Okay, let's regroup and keep going. As a video game character, experiencing death again and again is wearing me down. Iris is further away from us now. So when will you stop believing her? Date, can you see that shrine? Iris, I'm sorry. Did we make a mistake? No, you haven't. What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Iris? Are you there? Something big is coming. Okay, this guy's gonna be the final boss for today. No, stop! Stay away! Iris! Nice is coming! Dante, help me! Huh? Sorry, everyone. My PC is acting weird. Iris is in trouble. Is there any way to save her? Date, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Somnium once. If I don't save Iris here, Iris in the real world is in danger. Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Where do we go? It's a pyramid. Can we be rational and look at my feet? Your feet look like a sad, sliced open hair tail. Do you think I can climb it? It's worth a try. Then I will try. You see? You look pretty. Like a gold... Sorry, I'll get serious. Please do. A mirror door. What? The power of dance. The most beautiful thing humanity has ever created. Dance is the only way to beat Nyes in the Wadjet system. The reason why your reflection isn't shown in the mirror is because of Nyes. You're a threat to their existence. They're trying to erase you and... Date... Please, do it! Understood. I'll do it.
it's... Thank you for finding me, Date. Iris. Is it really you, Iris? Iba, touch the core. Date. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Hmm? I believe you. Wajit, Nyes, X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then... Yeah, I'm your bodyguard. I'll protect you with my life, Iris. Date! Thank you! Thank you so much! Date, are you delusional? You're going to help too, right, Iva? My mission is to support you. Good. And thank you. What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? It was a business hotel. It was a two-bedroom. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. No, we didn't. B -b -b what? Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? Why are you here, anyway? I see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yokocho last night, but I never thought it'd be you. <laughs> 